this is Ralph and in this video let's focus on the body section of our page. So in a previous video we put together the head section which included the character encoding meta, a title for our page, and also a meta description. And these are the elements in the head section I'd like you to use consistently. So every web page you make should have these things. Doc type definition, HTML tag, head section with these particular interior tags. Now the body of the page is going to contain the elements that you actually see. So this is where you'll be spending most of your time working because if you want your visitor to see it on the web page, it needs to be in the body section. Right now the only thing in the body of my page is a headline level 1, H1. So if I were to save this page, and I actually already have saved it, it's called basicpage.html. And if I were to open this up in my browser, let's jump over to a browser real quick and I'll do a uh, control O to open. There's my basic page. There we go. So my page is pretty much blank except for that headline level one. We can add more things to our page as long as we know various tags to mark up the content that we're putting on there. So you start to have, you need to decide what do you want people to see on this web page. Well, let's start off very simple. And I'm going to break up this web page into a couple key sections, okay? So around my H1, I'm going to use a header tag. Now this can be a little bit confusing because you've already seen me use the head tag. Well, the head tag is not the same as the header tag. The head tag denotes a special section up in the top part of the document. It's one of the two key sections of a page, the head section versus the body section. The header is within the body. And just to help clarify this, I'm going to indent all of these. I'm just using the tab key on my editor, the tabs do not affect the results on the page. The body is going to have a header area as opposed to, let's say, another area that I might have later on, the footer. Now these are not essential sections and I'm getting into an area to where it's really up to you to decide how do you want to organize and display content on your web page. For instance, if we go back over to um, Yahoo, we can see that they've got various elements on their page across the top you would probably easily classify this as a header area of the page not the head section but a header area and their header area contains a, uh, a prominent navigation menu and then it's got their logo or their branding it's got a search box and it's got some few it's got a few um, very popular links your their customized page sign into your account email and stuff like that so I could easily see this as the header of their website another indication if I go to other pages within Yahoo like Yahoo News the header is pretty much the same it's got the navigation menu same Yahoo brand or similar Yahoo branding a search box and those key logins so the header of a web page is something you generally might want to be consistent on all of your web pages. Now within this, after I'm sorry, within the page, but after the header, they've got these other sections. And this is where you're really open to a bunch of different ideas. Let's look at Apple's real quick. So at Apple, pretty similar to Yahoo, they have a header area. Let's zoom just like that, and that contains their navigation across the top. Much simpler to look at, but it includes branding, that's their logo, includes prominent or main navigation, and it also has a search box for the site. So that's something that I might use the header for. Now on our page, I've got our headline one within the header, and that's reasonable to do. We could have other stuff in there. Now after the header, I might put in some other content, and I could put in something like a div which is just a generic division and this could be my other content closing div and of course I have a footer with some footer text so this is kind of breaking up this page into a few key parts later on in other videos we'll get a little bit more organized with how do we say alright I want this to have a two or three column layout I want this column to be over here and how we can organize that. But for now, let's just focus on some of these new tags. I've made some changes, and let's go ahead and make sure I'm all saved up. And I can hit Save, or I can go to File, Save As, 
and I can be in my basic page change the file name here if I want to I'm still gonna stick with all lowercase no spaces and I'm gonna give it a dot HTML extension save yes I'll replace and now when I go to my web browser and hit refresh I can see that I've got this other content now it's pretty boring to start with plain black text on a white background and one of the most common frustrations for the beginner web developing student is they want to go fancy and fast you know it gets old fast doing just plain black text on a white background so very soon we're gonna to have to jazz these up